I think the original film holds up incredibly well, as does the stage uh, production. And um, I, I felt that now, here we are, uh, 20, 25 years later, we have the opportunity to uh, in explore what new technologies have to offer and the way a new cast could uh, interpret the songs and the roles. Uh, I think the f old film holds up incredibly well. If you wa I've watched it over and over again in, in part of the process of making this. And so we also had to differentiate ourselves from that and not feel redundant with an animated remake. And I think the techniques that we used here, uh, although many of the same techniques as far as using artists to create environments uh, and, and, and animators to create the performances, uh, we really efforted to give it a live action feel so that it could sit against the catalog of other live action Disney remakes of animated classics. And so all of the technology and all those techniques were used to help differentiate it from the original, but also to make it feel seamless sitting alongside live action films. Um, yeah, I feel like, um, I, think I, I think I understand the circle of life a little more now that I have my own family. And I think it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a special thing to be able to, to, to watch it with a child and see it through their eyes. I think that's, I think that's part of getting older a little bit. You have your own thing and they feel so massive and then you get big and then you get to see it through them and then you're like, I feel like watching this movie with my son, I was like, man, this must feel so huge. Like this is, this is, has to feel, I remember seeing that, but to see real animals kind of doing it must feel so different. So like it's, um, I feel like, yeah, that's a real circle of life moment for me anyway. I think, I think uh, the theme of, of a uh, sense of responsibility as you move uh, through life and you start to you start off a uh, young Simba oh, can't wait to be king and he thinks that being a king means that you get to rule everything and tell everybody what to do and nobody gets to tell you what to do and and as you get older you realize that no you're just fitting into something much larger and that there are times when you're going to go through experiences that feel unfair and are painful but at the end of the day you have a sense of responsibility to participate in this thing and that through that participation, it could ultimately be a very fulfilling and uplifting experience, and, and, and Simba goes through that journey and understands the context of how he fits into the whole circle of life. Um, I was just really interested in the transition of them, like, as far as, like, my voice, like, I, I really took, uh, John wanted there to be, like, a transition of just, like, almost like a stunted child, the beginning from, you know, the trauma that happened, and then slowly, like, realizing your place and realizing, oh, like, remember who remembering who you are and turning into a man so i was it was really kind of cool to have the to do that first song kind of higher pitched higher tone and then start to do that less as the as the movie went on and with the can you feel the love tonight sort of like oh like i'm there's a little bass in there you know so that was really fun for me i wanted a, a, a authentic naturalism to everyone and i think even starting with james earl jones who sits quite comfortably in the old animated classic uh, hearing him re-record this role with a, uh, you know, uh, many decades uh, having passed since then, there's a, a character to his voice that brings uh, a bit more dimension to it. It's like hearing a singer over the course of the career, their voice matures. And then everybody else that I cast, whether it was for their comedy chops, I wanted that to feel very natural, or their interpretations of the songs or their performances as actors, and I tried to create an environment where they could work together, not just, you know, whenever possible, not caught behind the music stand, but instead walking freely in a rehearsal space, being mic mic'd, overlapping, improvising, and to create that natural to give the illusion that you're looking at a, a live action performance.